Who are you throwing stuff at? Who's over here? What is it, boy? What is it? What do you see? They're already dead, Lydia. They're already dead. You sound like an idiot. Oh, this guy. Is it just you? Are you the one causing all this ruckus? Come on. It's okay, everyone. It's okay. I've taken care of it. Right, what's he got on him? Gold. Arrows. So, what's that bow like? Supple ancient Nord bow. Supple. Ugh. You only hear the word supple normally associated around breasts. Never around bows. It's a very breasty word. Okay. Um, deeper and deeper we go. Oh, here's a table. I bet there's a journal on it. Oh, and there's a ghost. I'll have a read of the journal quickly, then kill her. Part two. I'm going to have to change Arundel's voice, because I think he's a man. <clears throat> I've established a temporary workstation in the cold caves and have found multiple burial chambers within the snow and ice. While in the first chamber, I exhumed a few test subjects, all female. I was stunned to find my mind wandering again to the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself re-evaluating. Oh my god. It's like a necrophilia journal. Bloody hell. What has he been doing down here? The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was reanimated in a state of total complacency, bending to my every task and whim. Raise eyebrows. I have ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island, while the rest will act as my personal entourage, standing by me at all times. Standing watch over me while I sleep. Eugh. Oh my god, they're dead, dude. It's weird. Oh. So one of his girlfriends has found us. This is putting a whole sinister spin on this. Oh, what's she got on her? I'm surprised they have any clothes on them at all, to be honest, after reading that. Uh, let's get going. Okay, everyone's following. Um. Oh, look at that guy. With his big horny helmet. A scourge. Oh no. He's going to be trouble, I know it. Maybe I can give him a bit of the old uh, Dragonborn charm here. What shouts do I have? Frost breath. Yeah, let's see what I can do with that. I think I froze him. But uh, someone's thawed him out. Possibly Lydia. Come on, Lydia. Back off. Let me hit him a bit. Ah, got him. Oh, and I've leveled up. Perfect. Great. Let's see what he's got. Arrows. Yeah. Okay, let's level up then. What do I need? Um, stamina. Yeah, increase my stamina a bit. My stamina is through the roof. Maybe I should work on sneak or one-handed. What can I get with sneak? I think increasing my sneak a little bit more would be really handy. Because 35% um, harder. Yeah. I need to be a ghost. Not literally, but, you know, I need to be invisible. Again, not literally. I should stop talking in hyperbole. I need to be harder to spot when I'm wandering through a cave. Invisibility would be nice, though. I should maybe enchant some stuff for that. Maybe I should be working on my enchanting then. Oh, well. Um, let's get a look over here. Oh, another door. We can go further. And here's another diary and a potion. Uh-oh. Oh, that was just Knievel running off. He was just speaking his language, saying, Sorry, the kids are finished at school. I have to run off. Okay, Arundel's Journal, Part 3. An intriguing development. Tonight my guards have brought me a trespasser they found near the cave. At first, I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favourite servant, oh, yeah, but I recognised the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. 
She remembered me as well and made bold claims that I had been lurking near her at all hours. What lies! Truth, True, I had taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fear of more uninvited quest guests led me to conclude that she could never return to Dawnstar. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. The, her body is here next to me as I write this. Funny, her eyes are still full of life. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight using fresher materials. Oh my god, remember in a previous video I brought up that doctor who like fell in love with a patient and kept her in his bed after she died? And I thought I was being horrible and ridiculous and crossing the line and I was thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. And now I'm reading this actually in the game. I was being tame. This guy. What the hell? What is actually going on? Also, she was a milkmaid from Dawnstar. Lydia, did you see any cows in Dawnstar? I didn't see any cows. What was she milking? What the hell was she milking? That's just... I don't know. There's something very sinister going on here. And we're going into the throne room. So obviously this is where shit's about to get real. Let's find out. Um, final diary will be in here somewhere. I wonder who we're finding these diaries for. It's obviously a quest, so um, maybe his wife or his children. <laughs> his, the children are looking for the diaries of their long-lost father and, you know, like to know, oh, what the hell is that? There's someone on that chair. Is that the woman? Let's take care of the ghost. Oh, that might be the Arundel. Let's try and get the ghost first. Oh, no, no bolts. Okay, we have to go in close. We're going to have to sneak up and crack her neck or something everyone keep quiet single file oh no he spotted us this is your fault Lydia I blame you Who's there? ah crap missed and again ah oh crap crap he got me before I could I knew what was going on okay that didn't go very smoothly, guys. I'm not pointing fingers, but it was completely Lydia's fault. So uh, let's go and Lydia be more careful this time. Just be quiet. Stop making so much noise. Okay, I wonder can I give them orders? Can I get Lydia to maybe run in and be my uh, distraction? And then I'll creep up behind. Lydia, I need you to do something. Uh, I need you to go... Attack that dude. Okay, got it. There she goes. Now, she can distract him over there. Like. I introduce him to the, the scissor sisters here. My swords. Um. Oh crap, I need a potion. Uh, where's my health, health, potion of healing? He's a... Oh, crap. He's a powerful mage. Okay. Strategy two. Not the most successful. Time for, a uh, plan C, I think. Okay. Plan C. Lydia, now you messed up twice already. This has been your fault entirely. But I'm going to need you to go in and attack him again. Just attack the crap out of him. And I'll hang back with Sarana and we can work together. Oh yeah. I'll just let Lydia handle it actually. I don't even have to get involved. Oh, there we go. Sarana's doing something magic I don't know let's uh, just hop in and get this ghost woman ourselves ah got her okay one down one down now we just have to team up on um, this dude Arundel doesn't look like I expected at all I was picturing an orc oh no he's gonna shoot me get him Serana get him oh wow did she just kill him 
You are fantastic. Lydia, you're a failure. And you'll always be a failure. I don't like you. But Serana, yeah, you, you're getting a promotion. Serana, you're now my primary sidekick. You're my Padawan now. Lydia, you you can be Serana's Padawan. And, um... Yeah, that's how we'll work it from now on. Oh, a key, a black soul gem. Grand. Oh, this is amazing. Black soul gems. You can do a lot of enchanting with them. Uh, robes of restoration. They're worth a bit of money. And I like to leave them naked there. Naked and shamed. Greater soul gem. Lots of uh, treasure here. Urns. Silver ring. Brilliant. Um, now, maybe... I want to find his last diary. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I didn't think we'd find him alive, to be honest. I was expecting we'd find him dead and some kind of zombie woman or something. What's, what's in here? It's like, oh, there's a woman in there. Is that her? The woman he... The milkmaid. Oh, no, don't worry, milkmaid. We'll get you. I think she's dead, but um, there has to be a way in. How do we get in? Uh, it must be... Upstairs. Back up here. We'll at least take her body back for like a proper burial or something. Or a proper dumping in the river. Okay. What's in here? Oh. Another ghost. All asleep. This shouldn't be hard. Yeah, gotcha. Didn't even know what was going. She died in her sleep. She re-died in her sleep. She got on her nothing. Nothing of use. Um, oh, wow. Unusual gem. Final journal. Let's go. Let's see what things um, little Ar Arundel was up to. Now I know he's a high elf. I have to read this differently again. The new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name still escapes me, was revived as the others, bowing to my commands. With only one interesting development, she has reformed incorporeally, more phantasm than reanimated dead. As her glowing visage stood before me, I found my hand reaching out to touch her. As my fingers passed through her, I felt a sensation unlike any other. I hope he just stuck his fingers there. I mean, I hope he wasn't tempted to try other things. <coughs> As if her essence were invigorating my very soul, connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do. This discovery is life-changing. Day 35. I have ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within Ingvild, I should have sufficient room to store many new materials until I can transform them into willing slaves. I look back on my daydreams whilst living in Dawnstar and wonder if they were in fact portents of times to come. Oh wow, so is there more stuff in here? Who's Veckel? Veckel must be his kid who's looking for her father or something. Some more wine. Flower. He, he, he was obviously a nice guy. He gave this ghost a flower. You know, he cared. Brought them flowers and chocolates and things. What's in here? Gold. Scaled helmet. Oh, I don't really need that. Uh, staff of frostbite. And this is a grand staff of charming. I'll take it with me could be good. Actually, how much is the Frostbite one worth? 198. It's not too heavy. I'll take it along. We can sell it in town once we reach Winterhold. They're mages. They'll love to buy these things. Any kind of magic-y junk, they'll love it. Is this, a, this book something important? Reality and other falsehoods. Ectoplasm... I hope that is ectoplasm. He's gotten little bowls. I mean, he's been down here doing very dirty things. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced it isn't something else. All right, Sarana, come on, out of the way. Out of the way. We've got stuff to do. I want to take another look down here. There's got to be a way through this door. Um, a hidden switch or a lever or something. Nothing. Oh, there's, there's so much through there. It looks really cool. Um, oh, here we go. Let's go in and take a look. All these women. 
Oh, these are the ones who he made into ghosts or whatever. Uh, what's this one got? Red guard. Oh, and no, that's just a fiery thing. And here's a door. The inner sanctum, eh? Oh, or the exit. Who knows? Well, let's get out of here. There's snow on these steps, so um, obviously there's a way in up here. I wonder where we're going to come out. Oh, we, we can't go all the way up. Um, I wonder can we find that hole on the surface somewhere and jump down? That'd be cool. I bet it doesn't exist though. It leads to like some other universe or something. Oh, everyone get their swords out. What's going on here? Must be trouble about. Okay, or else they're just copying me. Ah. Copy in their, I don't know, Jedi Master. I was going to say copy in their daddy, but that would be creepy. <laughs> They're not my children. They look nothing alike, for one thing. Um, and I look nothing like them. Okay, we're back up top, I think. Oh, I know this room. We're near the exit. Now, we were meant to find that journal for someone, but who? Return to Veckel. Let's see where Veckel is. Veckel is in well, the Dawnstar, anyway. Um, is Veckel in uh, Whiterun as well? That would be very handy. That would be too handy. Um, let me just see. Oh, I haven't put it on the map yet. No, I bet Veckel is in Dawnstar. No, 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 no. I've only got one marker. Um, sorry, I'm just... I, I don't believe this. I'm just going to verify. No, we don't know where Veckel is. Veckel's not in uh, Whiterun. Veckel could be anywhere. Who the hell is Veckel? I guess if we find Veckel, we'll um, give him or her the journals, but... I don't know. Maybe we won't. Maybe it's a mystery that will never be solved. Not even by us. The, um... What do we call ourselves? The Mystery Gang or something? I don't know. The Power Rangers? We were the Power Rangers. Yeah. Won't even be solved by the Power Rangers. Now, where's the way out? I'm fed up of this place. And I think I'm going deeper and deeper in. Um... Ah, no. I'm going up. Up is good. Here we are. To Skyrim! I like those uh, glass swords. I want to get me one of those. Well, two of those, because I use two swords. Oh, Veckel's on my map! And he's in this direction. It would seem that he is... Oh! In Riften. All the way down in Riften. Okay, look. We're not really welcome in Riften either, after the little riot thing. But um, we can take a look. We'll drop by now and then. I suppose we can help make amends with the community by returning Veckel's uh, diary or whatever. So this could be the golden opportunity we've been waiting for. This has been a fun distraction. Um, still nowhere near solving that murder mystery we were going to work on. But I suppose it's something to work on in the future when we finally reach Windhelm. Hopefully in our next video. But uh, no promises. Okay, Serana, stop moaning. I'm, I'm just doing my outro. I finished the video. So, um, yeah, we'll see you next time.